Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today is Mark Jones, a longtime uh, Fitchburg farmer, resident uh, of Fitchburg, born yes. right here in, uh, I was born in, in the Fitchburg. area. Born in Fitchburg. Yeah, well, I was born in, at the hospital in Madison, but I've been in Fitchburg my whole life. So, Well, we're glad to have you on the show. Except for, uh, except for when the... the um, uh, the, the draft board sent me a letter and said, uh, your friends and neighbors have invited you to serve in the United States Armed for Forces. Oh, jeepers. And I said to my dad, I said, what, which friends and which neighbors? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we had a good laugh about that. <laughs> That's a, a very interesting letter. If you have a copy of that letter, I need yeah, to see I would, that. I wish I had I, saved it. Yeah. yeah, I wish I had saved it. Um, Mark, thank you for taking the time out. Uh, familiar face for uh, Talking Fitchburg. You're on uh, Ag and Rural Affairs uh, Commission. So we've seen you on, on uh, our FACT TV a few yes. times. Uh, but today you're uh, helping out the Fitchburg Senior Center, uh, uh, kind of talking about the early times of uh, Fitchburg, uh, the transformation from uh, the town um, to the city of Fitchburg Correct. Uh, is what we'll talk about. And a little bit about Doug Morissette as well. Uh, we've had some conversations about him since his passing, mm -hmm. uh, kind of piecing together uh, his legacy here in Fitchburg. But, Mark, uh, let's take it back uh, to time when you, you – actually served on the town board uh, before uh, we even uh, had the, the city of Fitchburg. That is true. I served on the Fitchburg town board. Uh, when we went from a three-person board to a five-person board uh, is when I came on. Um, and the um, was, Leo Lacey was on at that point in time, um, Gordy Pregel, Jeannie Sealing. Uh, Charlie Uphoff, uh, Doug Morissette was the chair wow. um, a long time ago. And that was right during the, the period of uh, when we were struggling with um, annexations. And the struggle over the peace to the north was uh, in the north end of the, si of the, of the township at, at this time, a uh, North Syene Road. Uh, was up for annexation. The owners had applied to the city of Madison, and that turned into a real battle. Uh, and we looked at, we had, at that point in time, we had looked at several ways of, it was kind of interesting, of saving um, the, our boundaries with the city of Madison. Uh, we were very upset that the city of Madison was uh, um, extending their, their uh, influence into the city. Uh, and so during that annexation battle was kind of uh, a turning point where uh, we went to court. And um, we had looked at several different ways of accomplishing uh, securing our borders. Um, and one, there was many ideas kicked around. One idea was to um, create a buffer for the city would buy a, a 50 or 100 foot right away all along the border. And then that would seal the border because mm. you couldn't. They, uh, another municipality can't annex um, public land. Sure. So, and then we looked at uh, taking the urban area of the town of Madison, and the urban area which was Tower Hill and in the uh, Fish Hatchery Road corridor, in creating a city because uh, that more closely fit the definition of a city. And then we. And then we took a long shot, and our attorney for the city was Jack Keppel at that point in time. Uh, and Jack was a very smart man, and Doug was uh, a good friend with Doug, uh, the town chair. And uh, the long shot was to take this court battle and ask for incorporation. And uh, we were given a, almost no chance in, in the world that that would ever happen. And, um, and of all the ways that we looked at securing the border, that one, we lost the annexation battle in the court fight, but they granted the incorporation. And we were, we were really stunned uh, when that happened because we hadn't anticipated that the, the, if the chance of that happening was, uh, we were told, was, was just almost not possible. And there we were. Wow. So I remember getting the call. It was in the spring. Uh, I got a call. Actually, I got the call from Jeannie Sealing, who was a, an older person. And um, she had just gotten the call from Doug, and they were kind of notifying everybody. And uh, she said, well, you, uh, you'll you never guess what just transpired. <laughs> and, That's uh, a heck of a phone call. <laughs> and I said, uh, 
wow, what, what do we do now? <laughs> yeah. And uh, because we had not prepared. Uh, we really, really had not prepared. Wow. So there was a major scramble, and I got to give Doug Morris a lot of credit because he and Jack Keppel uh, really pulled that together uh, as far as what we had to do because changing from a— all of a sudden, we were we were a city, and we were uh, we had to create some offices that city structure required, the township government did not require, and that had to happen within a very short period of time, and so there were some appointments made and some some um, uh, some chairs filled that just you know we everybody kind of <laughs> chipped in and and then we had to uh, do an election. Um, create some alder districts and do an election. And uh, so it was a real hurried time. And um, and I got to give Doug a lot of credit. He really stepped up and did, um, helped a lot. Wow. And then um, he, um, I see he was, he was, Doug was a very stern fella. He, you always knew where you stood with Doug. Good guy, um, but he was, um, he was, he was a very business, Everything was very businesslike. Uh, uh, it was never, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't the warm, warm and fuzzy. It was all pretty much straightforward business, and um, which was fine. It was uh, that was just the way he was. He was always like that. Right. Um, my interaction with him. So uh, that's um, I've I've heard so many different stories. We've told them throughout the many years that have been here, but uh, you know, it was just down to that. <laughs> I, I remember the the court cases and stuff, but man, oh man, I I can't imagine not being you know anticipating uh, well, the, not to of, incorporate. You know, you're like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> that, one of the things, and I don't have the article. Isthmus did an article about that period of time we were going to court, and it showed um, it was a cartoon. It had a a um, um, it was. Uh, turn of the century horses and battle uh, lines drawn, and it was a, a cartoon character of Doug and, and the and the town board uh, people, and then Mayor Soglin and the city council people, uh, both both approaching um, the on the cover of Isthmus, uh, and uh, and I didn't for whatever reason I I don't have a copy of that, but anyway that way it was it was. Uh, it was cute. It really was. So, oh, and a cool moment, or a, a great moment for uh, for Fitchburg. It was. It was. Uh, it was like I say. It was not anticipated at all. Unfortunately, I mean, and it wasn't anticipated on the Madison end either. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of uh, ill feelings um, between the two governmental agencies. We were in the process of shortly after that that happened in. Oh, that was eighty three, and. Um, a little bit after that, not long after that, um, there was some stuff happening in the north end of Fish Hatchery Road, and there was two houses where uh, BMO Harris Bank is now, and um, we were in, a, uh, we were had been contacted to move those houses uh, for a Habitat. It was the organization before Habitat, and um, they were going to go into the city of Madison for low-income housing, and. They refused to allow them to come in after the annex. After the incorporation, there were so many hard feelings that they refused that, and we appealed, and you know because it was a um, a habitat and uh, type of an arrangement, sure. and uh, and they were pretty mad, and they said no, wow. so they had to go a different direction. So anyway, that was uh, there were there were some ill feelings on both sides for the, that. Uh, and I think it's pretty well diminished at this point in time. I think the the Madison metro area um, is pretty uh, cordial. Uh, governments are pretty cordial to each other at this point in time. But there was some time where, where that was not. Yeah, and, and now you turn and look ahead to what happens with town. And certainly we're not going to get into that today, but the town, of, you know, as town of Madison uh, goes away and, and how that uh, will play out to uh, it's kind of sure. a, a new yeah. a new chapter in the uh, well, Fitchburg it, story. It, it kind of goes back to to uh, during incorporation. We looked at including taking the town of Madison, the metro area, and combining it. So you know, fast forward thirty years, right? Uh, some of that did come to volition. So uh, 
It's kind of interesting. It's uh, kind of interesting yeah. how history plays out. It, it, it sure, certainly is. Um, real quick, uh, when you look at the Common Council component, you were on the, the Common Council in the early time as well. Correct. Uh, was there any interaction? Was Morris at uh, mayor at that point? or was Doug he, served as... Uh, <coughs> Doug, I can't remember his... Doug uh, left. Um, um, he actually was not... When we became incorporated... Um, I spoke wrong earlier. The the actual Doug had left. Um, yeah, he wasn't the first mayor of Fitchburg. No, no, he was not. He had left the town board um, as town board chairman um, and Mayor Lafamboy, um, Ed Lafamboy, uh, who has passed away now. His family still lives in Fitchburg. Very nice man. Very. He worked for Meritor Hospital. Uh, he was in the uh, accounting end of the world. And a uh, very smart man. And he was the first mayor. Wow. And um, and then Doug came back uh, and served as mayor. Um, he was town board chair. And then he came back and served as mayor, I think, two different times. Or maybe only one. I, I know he was town board chair, and I, I know he came back and, and served as, uh, as uh, the second mayor, I believe. So, or the third. I, no, anyway, he did come back and, and serve again. So. Right. Well, uh, Mark, thank you so much for your time and yeah. uh, kind of taking us through that. It's very, it's, it's, I want to say it's a great story, but I don't want to say it that way. It's just the, the history of how, history of how we came together uh, here and or how Fitchburg kind of plays out. Real um, quick, I'll tell you one more thing. The other thing that we had looked at and the preserving of the agriculture, I'm a proponent of agri uh, purchase of, of development rights. And the town of Dunn and the town of Fitchburg had looked at how we could preserve agricultural land and incorporation and all of those things. So there was the town of Madison, the town of Fitchburg, the town of Dunn were all involved. And anyway, we took a different path. town of Dunn took a path with purchase of development rights, and they still have that program in place today. And their chairman today is the same person who was Ed Minahan is, uh, and Ed and I have talked about doing an article for um, two towns to pass. Uh, and I think it would be a fascinating article to go back. I, I wish we had done it before Doug passed. Mm -hmm. um, but it would be a fascinating article to, uh, to we're going to try to work on that. Well, yeah, well uh, Mr. Minahan is still with us. He's, he's an elderly person, but he's still very sharp. And um, I think it would be fun to get that history down. So maybe Fact TV can uh, help you out on that. We'll we'll give that some consideration. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, that'd be great to to tell that story too. I would yeah. I think it would be awesome. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for your time right. and uh, helping out the senior or the uh, historical society here. Yeah, any, uh, with anything for the city of Fitchburg. Hey, we'll get you back on the show for sure. All right, All right thank Mark you, Mark Jones, a longtime Fitchburg resident here, and appreciate uh, uh, learning a little bit more about Fitchburg. Uh, yep, take I've, a, I've been involved in Fitchburg local government for over for forty five years. That's amazing. So. I'm glad you're still here and helping out then. All right. <laughs> All right, Thank we'll take a, a quick break. You are watching Talking Fitchburg.